Hi, this is Andy Turner. I just wanted to show a follow-up for the video that I recorded using the file read class. And here we have file read. Now in my last video I made a mistake where I should have commented out this code. What we don't want to do is create a new file with this as an argument. We want to create we want to use an existing file as the argument to the file reader object and give that to a new uh, variable called local file reader. So what was happening in the last video is I was writing to the file and then reading from it. What I was trying to do as well is read from an existing file. And here in the terminal, we can see that in the background there, it's from the file system. And then this is showing this is from the file system. Now just to prove that, I will update another set of data from the file system. And when I save this and I run the program again, notice I have the text that's coming from the file system. Before this was saying file reader local file. So it was reading the file that it created before. But I changed it to hello4.txt or indeed any any file. So you could read a new document to the screen from the file system or a database and then write that file out to a new file or a new database uh, with the code that I showed in the previous tutorial generate CSV or it could be generate JavaScript generate HTML lastly I have sort of a bonus uh, for watching the video and it is uh, coding.com today had what they call a crazy promotion and it really is it is a promotion where they are offering four gig of free space now if you're not familiar with coding.com definitely go to and they've been having a few issues today but it's it's still awesome if you use this promotional code while watching the video you'll be able to in the next uh, week or so from the recording of this video coding.com slash r slash responsible t that will get you four gig of free space actually a five gigabyte virtual machine now what can you do with that virtual machine you can pretty much do anything with that virtual machine and i'll show you what i mean by that if you open up coding.com i will refresh the browser session here they've been up and down today because basically the world has trampled them with this crazy promotion so I will open up a terminal window and you can run commands just like on a real Unix box uh, before I started the video I started installing Node.js and it runs just like you would normally run in a uh, on a normal Unix box. So I'm going to go out and get the latest version of Node. And so I have a real terminal server here. I can also install, well, <laughs> as long as it doesn't fail. Uh, so this is, you know, this is beta territory here. But uh, as long as it doesn't fail, you can run MySQL on here. Okay, not retrieving. And then you can 
start a MySQL database here at coding and then call into that database from Java code locally using the uh, previous tutorial on how to use the uh, display assessment scores that contains a real database retrieving uh, code so hopefully yeah it looks it, it, it actually worked so I can continue uh, going out to the web as in here and I'm still you know piece by piece here installing Node.js and Node.js if you don't know is a, uh, a very modern JavaScript base, based HTML uh, server and so the possibilities are really endless here Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in class.